The federal government of Nigeria, led by Bola Ahmed Tunubu, Tunubu, made some very strategic policy statements, amongst which is the unification of exchange rate regimes in Nigeria. As we talk, as we are speaking to you, there are so many regimes of exchange rates. There's a rate on the street that we call the black market, but it's a rate because that's where a lot of Nigerians approach. There's a rate for government business. This rate is business for, or is, is, is different from the rate you get when you want to do business that government is supposed to fund foreign exchange. That's to say you want to open a form M that rate is also different. I understand it's a different rate when you want to do a pilgrim, you want to go to Mecca or you want to go to Jerusalem, there's a different rate. At the last count, we have not less than four exchange rates in Nigeria. Bola Ahmed Tinubu, the president of Nigeria, said with immediate effect that the CBN should unify these rates. Now the truth about unification of exchange rate is that you don't unify these rates at a lower level not even at the middle level. If you want it to work, it must be unified at the upper level so that you can stop arbitraging. If you don't unify it at the upper rate, you will not stop arbitraging. If you don't unify it at the upper rate, round stripping will not stop. So the only wise thing to do is to go unify all of them at 740 or 760, not even at 630 that we're hearing. In the course of the week, it came about that people who wanted to complete from M discovered that they are going to buy the dollar at 630. The government of the day have not made any announcement about the adjustment of price of the, or rate rather. They didn't make any announcement officially and they went quick to deny it. But the truth is, whether you announced it officially or not, and the new rate at which you can buy a dollar for from M government approved areas of importation is 630. You have inadvertently devalued the Naira the further. Now let's face the reality that Naira is now devalued to that extent from 430, 440 to now 630. Let's agree that that's where it is. What is the effect of it? Adjustment in price level. Everything follows suit. The importer increases his price because when he goes to the market to replenish his stock, he will have to buy it at a higher rate. The man who wants to buy will have to cough out the money to buy if it's important to you. So everything adjusts on its own. But is it a good policy? I think, yeah, I think it's a good policy. A lot, again, will depend on how it is managed thereafter because it will reach an equilibrium. And when it gets there, depending on our balance of trade, the price will stabilize. Possible to stabilize below the first major rate and come slightly low or around that. But a country that is dependent on imports for sustenance will find it very difficult to improve the value of their currency. So the Nigerian man's propensity for foreign goods comes to attack here. So no matter how well the government of the day intends, if we do not cut our appetite for foreign goods and begin to use what we have, what we manufacture in Nigeria and desire less of things that come from outside, all these government policies will not see the light of the day. Now I speak to you, the Nigerian, be Nigerian by Nigeria. And that is where we want to put this case today. If we do not cultivate that attitude, the exchange rate will continue to go up. The major of the rates, good, but price levels will adjust. Nigerians must brace up for harder times. That's the reality. It depends on how the government manages the times. If they manage it well, we will all come out of it be better. Ghana was voted as one of the best economies in Africa. Who knows how they will manage our own. Maybe one of these days also will tell the story of Nigeria. I'm very optimistic about this nation. I know it's a great nation any day. And things will surely get better. Have this optimism with me. Things are hard, yes, but things will get better.